What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now I'm finally doing monthly favorite videos. I asked all of you guys on Twitter if I should start doing them, you know, incorporate makeup, skincare, purses, and that type of stuff, and everyone was like, Okay, yeah, but we've been waiting. So I'm finally gonna start doing some favorite videos. So the month of May went by, I feel like in a flash. Like, first of all, I can't believe like the year's half over. I feel like we were just starting to celebrate New Year's and yay, ha, huh, fresh start. Now I'm like Oh my god, where the hell like has time gone? It's crazy. I've had so many launches from my own cosmetic brand. Life is moving so quickly. Me and Nathan hit our one year and five month anniversary. It's like life is just hectic. So if I wanted to slow it down for a minute, take a breather and tell you guys all of my favorite things from the month of May. So let's get started. Now, I gotta say, this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist is everything! I know you guys have all seen me use it in a lot of my videos. I go between setting sprays like all the time. Sometimes I like the Fix Plus, sometimes I like the Urban Decay, but after discovering Tatcha Skin Care, I was like, Oh, okay, okay. Now, this one is very hydrating. The ingredients are very expensive. It's all made in Japan, and I'm just such a fan of this brand. Now, everyone is making fun of me for <laughs> spraying half the bottle in a few videos ago. Girl, you would do the same damn thing because it's a must. This gives your skin such glowy luminosity afterwards. I was just like, oh my god, I'm gonna douse the whole bottle on my head. Now, the one thing that I do wish could happen is that I could unscrew this and literally just douse I'll sit and have it rain down my head. Um, you know, so we'll have to get in touch with them and see if they can help me out, but you guys, this spray, I'm like, I'm even gonna just spray it on my face right now. This is just everything. Oh, it just smells amazing, it feels like heaven, and I am such a big fan of this. So my final thoughts on this guy, I am obsessed with you. All right, now let's get to highlighting. We live in a highlighting obsessed world and I couldn't be happier. So when I discovered this sleek makeup compact, I about fainted because I will buy anyone's highlighter from drugstore to Chanel. I don't give a H who you are. If you guys have a highlighter, I'm buying it. I saw this on Jacqueline's Snapchat and she swatched it on her cheeks and I was like, <gasps> it was blinding. Literally, it was like a satellite had just bounced off her cheekbones and hit Calabasas because damn, damn. <laughs> I was like, whoa. So I Googled this brand, and they are from UK, and I gotta say something. I, it's just heavenly. Like, I'm just gonna swipe. This is my favorite one. It's just a little one-two swipe. It is so pigmented. It's like a mirror is on your cheeks. And then this lavender one is just, oh, it's so pretty. Now, it also has a yellow one, which I know Nikki Tutorials loves to use. This one is really light, and then it has a cream shade at the top, which is fun because you can do the cream first and then put the highlight on top. It's a religious experience, I promise you that. So, I know that you guys can find this online. Just Google Sleek and get to blinding. Time for a little shameless plug because my Skin Frost highlighting powders debuted in May and I couldn't believe how astronomical my first launch was. I was just like, oh my god. So my favorite shade from my line is Ice Cold. It is that just blinding white gold platinum highlighter. We're just gonna do, just give you a little, just give you guys a little swipe right there. It is full of pigment. I'm just gonna do a little swatch on my hand here. Oh, I mean, it is reflecting off of my entire existence right now. These retail for $29 and they will be back in stock really soon. The demand has been so real, like so real. I'm like, damn, I really need to fire up the machines and make a billion more because y'all cleaned me out. So, if you've tried my highlighters, thank you so much for supporting me, and if you are waiting for them, you can always check my Snapchat and my Twitter, which will be linked down below. That has the quickest updates for what the hell is going on in my life and my brand. Okay, the next thing, because we're gonna stay in the little makeup realm right now, is something that I really don't wear on camera a lot, but a lot of the times when you guys see me on Snapchat and I just have sunglasses on and no makeup, I, I kind of have a little glossy lip. I love using Revlon glosses. I know you guys are like, drugstore, don't lie to us. I swear on my life, this gloss is everything. This shade is called Sky Pink, and I really love it because it's very light, but it still has that kind of like, I'm just gonna swatch it on my tattoo right now. It still has a little luminosity and color to it, so it's not exactly clear 
on the lips. It just kind of gives your natural lip color a little boost of confidence and energy. And um, I'm a huge fan. So, you know, when I don't want to go out with a full face mask on, like whether I'm going to, you know, Cheesecake Factory or McDonald's, I just throw on some gloss. So these can be found at the drugstore. They're very affordable and very sickening. Now let's dive into some skincare. Now, right off the bat, I gotta say, Burt's Bees Makeup Wipes. These are facial cleansing towelettes. It's a makeup wipe. Um, these are so hydrating. They are 99% natural. I don't know what that 1% is. That isn't natural, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. But um, these are, they're just amazing. Like, I don't use these to take off my entire face. I think I'll do a whole video on that. But, you know, I have to swatch eyeshadows and lipsticks all day long from my lab and we're testing stuff all the time. These just get stuff off really easy. Now, this is the cucumber and sage flavor. They also have pink grapefruit and they smell divine. Especially if you want to get off highlighters, liquid lips. They're really gentle and they don't really hurt you, which is nice. Some wipes, I'm like, hi, my mouth is uh, gonna send you the medical bill because it hurts. So these are really good to get off stuff and they're really hydrating so it's like, hi, my tattoo even looks darker and fresher after that, which is nice. So I know you're like, okay, what can be so special about a makeup wipe? I just love how these feel. They're really gentle and nice. So I'm sure there are a million other makeup wipes that you guys love, but this is my personal favorite. I buy them religiously at the drugstore. And if you guys love these, tell me below, or if you haven't tried them, just give it a whirl. I know you guys have seen me use this guy on Snapchat a lot for the last few months. This is by Sicily, and this is called the Black Rose Cream Mask. That's a mouthful, huh? Now, this is a mask that you put on when you have no makeup on and your skin is fresh and clean, and you actually leave this on. So it's like a topical, and you just put it on entirely. It's like a cream. Here, I'll show you guys a tiny little bit right here. It is a cream mask. This one is literally like empty, you guys. Look, at it. it's like, hi, there's none left. Please stop. Me and Nathan use this all the time. There we go. So it comes in like a cream form and you just wanna like coat your entire face with this and then sit, you know, go play a video game, go smoke a bowl, and in like 10 minutes, your face is like sucking in all this moisture. It's crazy. Now, depending on your skin type, if you're dry, you are gonna love this. And if you have normal skin, amazing. Oily, I don't have any friends that are oily that have tried this, so I cannot contest if you have oily skin. Do not say I said it was amazing for that. But normal to dry, this is a godsend. Now, this item is a little on the pricey side. It retails around $100, but you get a lot. Me and Nate have used this probably like 10 times and it's finally empty, so I definitely need to get a new one. It basically smooths out your skin, almost kind of like plumps it up, and it just gives it a little, just a little breather of life. Remember not to give yourself expectations or be let down if something is not like a miracle worker. Now, the last thing I want to say about skincare is I get asked all the time, how the hell do you take off your makeup? That We're gonna do that for a whole nother video, but once the makeup is off, I love to tone my skin, moisturize, all that jazz. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite toner. This one is by Dior. This is the Lotion Tender. I don't even know how to pronounce that, so we're just gonna not even try that. This is the Gentle Toning Lotion, and this has Velvet Peony Extract. Now, this one is almost empty, as you can see from the bottle. Now, I love this because you get 6.7 ounces, which is a lot for skincare, and this is like a tower if you want to see my hold up to my face. It's like, whoa. This is a big bottle, so uh, she's running low. I use this every morning and night. Now, this is not the only toner I use. I have a whole crazy regimen, which we'll get into that later. But um, this is my favorite. I found this on Sephora because I'm such a Dior makeup lover. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try some of their skincare. Um, I've been using one of their moisturizers for about like two years years now and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna try more of their products so this is a must have uh, hey babe hey <laughs> so one of my favorites well I know you guys are like is Nathan your your main favorites he's my favorite every month we're gonna talk about our favorite thing to smoke now medical marijuana is very big in California if you are not a marijuana user and you think marijuana sucks just fast forward to the next thing but Oh, this you guys listen Jack Herrera is our favorite strain for the month of May it is so good we've been buying a lot of it now this is like finely milled little pieces it smells so good our whole studio just smells like weed now yeah <laughs> it smells great in here 
Now the reason why I love this is because it is a sativa strain. So what that means is that it keeps you awake and bright throughout the day and it also takes away your anxiety and any anxiousness you might feel. And I'm just obsessed. So I think we're gonna fire up the vaporizer. Now the vaporizer for the month of May, this is my favorite thing to smoke out of. I know we smoke out of pipes and bongs all the time on camera, but this handheld the vaporizer, we found this online. How much was this? Like 300 bucks, right? It's amazing because you put the weed inside here. So we're gonna lift it up for you. So you basically take out this glass piece and you put the marijuana in there and in here and it basically cooks it for you so what is it doing it's basically just cooking all the little crystals and we're basically excluding the plant matter in it so you don't ruin your lungs as much so basically you just let this heat up and hit to six we don't like to hit it to seven because you're kind of overcooking it and it could burn yeah so. that'll burn it and then that will defeat the purpose right all right let's wait for it to get cooking Oh, it smells like cooked popcorn. It's so good. So you basically just suck on this. And you gotta remember this is vapor. This is not smoke. <laughs> it's so light, but mm -hmm. like, <laughs> it's amazing. Excuse my lip gloss. <laughs> it's all right. Come on, vaporizer. Come if you guys through. smoke weed and you don't vaporize, what the H, you guys? It's the best way. We're down to the last few items. Now I'm gonna jump into some accessories because when I wear stuff on Instagram or Snapchat, I get asked all the time, what the hell is that? So I think my most requested like tweet and comment of May was these glasses. Now I wore these in my Birkin bag video and I wear these a lot on Snapchat. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, I think I got some Tatcha spray on them, but it's okay. Chanel doesn't mind. Now, these are from the Runway Collection. These are called the Chanel Shield Glasses, and they come in four colors. When I saw this, like, weird gold red tint, I was, like, obsessed. So, these are from Chanel. I know they still have them on their website and in stores, because when I was in New York a few weeks ago, I saw them there, and they're on the website. I know these sell quickly, so if you want them, get them before they're gone, because Chanel, once they make them, they make them once, and and they're like, <laughs> you had a chance and bye. Now I know a lot of you are not into sunglasses that are like luxury items, so it's all good. You don't have to like them, but I fucking love them. Now, the last thing is also from Chanel. I think in the month of May, I use this for about probably three weeks out of the month, and this is the Canary Yellow Boy Bag. Now, I saw this at the Chanel store in New York when me and Manny were there for the Urban Decay event, and I was like, Oh, girl, I had to have this color. I collect bags probably for about 10 years now. I have been collecting purses and I'm just such a Chanel lover. When I was little, I would read through my mom's Cosmopolitan magazines and I would see ads for Chanel. We were just a, a normal little lower class family from Huntington Beach and my mom did not have these in her closet. She went to Ross and so did I. So when I would look at these ads, I would be like, oh, one day. So now I collect bags. I'm obsessed with Chanel and I know a lot of my girls out there in the makeup world love Chanel. I mean, how could you not? It's just so pretty. I think besides that, the month of May is officially over and done with. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you want me to continue to do this series, let me know below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for giving me thumbs up. And even if you give me a thumbs down as soon as the video launches, I love you too. Because bitch, at least you're watching me. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one.